Fischer, working in a healthcare company and based in Germany. This video channel is a small initiative from my side to share knowledge about the healthcare world and drugs in an easy way. As I'm a passionate healthcare professional and I believe that education is the best gift one can receive or give back to the society. With this, in today's video, we'll talk about the concept called target product profile. In short, this is also referred as TPP. In my last few videos, I gave the overview on clinical trials, overview on IND applications and the first step used for IND application preparation. If you have not watched those videos till now, then you can watch it now. The link for the past videos have been given in the description box below. Now let's start with the second step during the IND preparation, that is preparation of TPP. If you have heard this word called TPP and wondering what is the use or purpose of this document, how this document is prepared, who all are involved in the preparation of this document, what all information is included as part of this document, and how does this document look like, then all these points will be discussed in today's video. Let's start. If a mobile company wants to make a mobile, the team will sit together, right? They'll brainstorm together to define in first step how will the profile of their mobile look like. For example, what will be the target screen size? What will be the camera resolution? How much will be the memory space? And what will be the special features and so on. Similar way, in pharmaceutical companies during drug development, the team, for example, people from regulatory, from CMC, from clinical, from preclinical, from marketing, from R&D and so on, they all will sit together, they brainstorm together to define how will the profile of their drug look like. For example, what will be the indication and uses of the drug? What will be the doses and administration of the drug? How will be the contraindications, warnings and precautions? adverse reactions, the clinical pharmacology, the non-clinical toxicology, storage and handling and so on. All this information is captured as part of the document which is called as the target product profile. In short, this is also called as the TPP. The first question which comes to the mind, how to start with this TPP preparation? So the key stakeholder from different departments, they sit together and they brainstorm together around the intended profile. The next question which comes, how to proceed throughout the development with this document? Because in early stages, we cannot have all the information about the drug, right? For example, contraindication, will only have these results and information in the later stage of development. Therefore, we just define the potential profile based on the other similar drugs from the same class or from the same mechanism of action. So basically, we select the reference drug in this case. Also, we discuss if there is a competitive advantage in the profile of our drug and what kind of evidence or studies will be needed to gain the market advantage. Once this draft initial TPP is made, this is a live document and we update this document with time as the knowledge about the product increases. Then, now you know how the TPPs are prepared, what goes inside TPP, but the next question which comes that what is the purpose of this TPP or what is the use of this TPP, why we are doing this. So, to have an organized communication with health authority or with US FDA. If you are going to have a meeting with FDA during any phase of development, you can include this TPP along with the briefing practice. The content of TPP can be discussed with FDA as it increases the understanding between FDA and you about your product. You can also receive constructive feedback from FDA. Then the second point is, when next time you go for meeting with US FDA, it saves your time by avoiding repetitive discussions on already discussed content. What does that mean? It means that whatever content FDA has already discussed with you or already reviewed, they will not again go on the same points. They will only see your TPP with the updated information. So you will only discuss the updated information with the FTA and this way you save a lot of time. You will not have repetitive discussion on the same content. Then third point is when you will design the label for your product, this TPP will help you with the structured information to add in your label in future. So these were the three main advantages which I would like to highlight with this TPP. Apart from this, it has many other advantages throughout the development to capture your product profile. So this was all about TPP. Now before we end this video, 
do you know there is one similar word which is called qtpp do you know what is the purpose of that document if you know the answer then please comment in the comment box i will reveal the answer next week in the next video which is going to be released next week we'll talk about the next step in the ind preparation that is step 3 how to perform meetings with usfda so do subscribe my channel and click on the notification bell so that you will get to know about my next upcoming video from this series till then let's stay connected for the next video Thank you.